laughter to tears. And those tears could be joyful or they could be of sadness. But it's like when you begin to release those emotions, you're letting go. Like the rain falling out of the sky or the snow that's falling down outside right now. If you're able to release that tension, that's how you let go of dis-ease in the body. That's the whole philosophy of yoga. So although it's become an exercise class here in America, the essential quality of yoga has always been to connect the mind, body, and spirit. And the way to get through to the spirit is through your breath. So we'll start with that breath work. And as I mentioned in the past, I want you to sit really tall. So if you could think about creating space between your ribs and your hips, if you're in a chair, sit forward in the chair and be mindful through the week. Whenever you're in a chair, if you're leaning back, we tend to roll back. Sitting forward puts you up on your sitting bones and it creates that space which allows your diaphragm to be open. When we crunch down, we're crunching not only your intestines, so digestive issues begin because nothing can flow, it's crunched. So this is the best work you can do and it also strengthens your lower back simply by sitting up on your sitting bones. So if you are having lower back pain, stay for a little bit. If you're really conscientious, put a little timer on, see if you can stay for 30 seconds and then try for a minute the next time through the week. But right now, do what you can. And remember when you need to ease out, give yourself permission to do so. No one's judging you. Just be sure you're not judging yourself. So our breath, as I mentioned today, is generally long, slow, and soft. We're gonna start with that and then we're gonna transition to a more upbeat breath. And the reason why I'm doing that, it's winter and it's cold and now it's snowing today. So we want to make sure that we have a little extra heat in our body. It's also an easy way to flush the toxins out. So if you wake up, one of these days, and you're like, it's cold and I don't want to get out of bed. You have to force yourself to get up. Breath work can help encourage your energy flow and help you feel better. So we'll start with the long, slow breath, lifting your ribs, put your hands on the side of your ribs. And as you inhale, I want you to feel your ribs expanding out to the side. So you can keep your shoulders low. So pay attention if your shoulders are lifting up. Sustain the breath for a moment. And then as you exhale, feel the hand moving in toward the spine. Fully empty your breath. Close your eyes as you like. Inhale. Our hands on the bottom of the ribs because we want to bring the breath low in the bottom part of the ribs bottom part of the lungs. Release. If you haven't yet, close your eyes for this next breath and breathe in. And breathe out. Maybe one more. Inhale long, slow, even and soft. Soften your face. Release. Empty your arms in your lap. Take a few natural breaths. And with those four breaths that you've just completed, let your mind move through your body and see if you can notice a little difference in how you're feeling. It happens very quickly how we can change how we feel by changing how we breathe. So next we're going to do the upbeat breath. You feel free to keep your eyes closed. I'm gonna tell you what to do. So opening your eyes is optional. You're gonna breathe in through your nose. It's a short inhale quick and short, and then open your mouth, forceful exhale. So I want you to imagine that you're using your exhale to throw a cotton ball across your room. And if you don't like this, imagine that cotton ball you're throwing at me on your screen. 
So take a long breath in, lift your ribs, keep that spine tall no matter what you do. Try to think about the length in your body. And, and let's try to count to 30. If you can't make it that far, it's okay. You're going at your own pace. So your belly button moving towards your spine. Your eyes closed and now breathe in bring your arms up above your head you're gonna lace your fingers push the heel of your hands into the sky and tilt your chin up press up like you're holding up a cloud part your fingers close your eyes into your arms keep your body tall and just feel your arms drifting down it's like the snow that's falling outside or maybe there's some wind you feel moving between your fingertips. Take a little pause. Let your hands rest in your lap. Keep your eyes closed. If any nausea or anything arises, know that that's normal. There could be many things you might experience as your body adapts to the amount of oxygen you just put through your nervous system. So we're going to repeat those long breaths, lifting the sky. Lace your fingers opposite the way you normally do. Turn your palms out, breathe in. Press up into the sky. Lengthen your body, part your arms, close your eyes. Exhale. Another normal breath. And one more time, lace the fingers, inhale. Push up high into the sky. Lengthen a little more, sip in a little more. Close your eyes. And as you exhale, just soften in your arms. Just let your arms float back as you empty that long, slow, even, and soft exhale. In this moment, recognize what you're feeling. And bring our hands behind you. I'm going to do something a little for opening the joints. So in Qigong class, we talked about the deep bends in your body from the knees, through the hips, your elbows and under your arms. So there's lymph nodes under the arms and through the groin. We're gonna work on those today as we also open up our hips, but we're gonna start with the joints. And we're gonna start with the elbows because as we bend all the time or carry things or just even working on the computer, we're bending that arm. So. If you're in a chair, you'll have to modify bringing your arms to the back of the chair and bringing your hips as far forward as you can. But if you're able to get on the floor, I want you to bring your arms behind you and slide your arms back as far as you can. And for those of you who are old enough to remember those really good Warner Brother morning cartoons on Saturday, just imagine you're watching TV. Slide your arms back as far as you can until it gets to where you know you're at your limit. And instead of lifting your chest up, we're going to let your chest sink down between your arms. I'm going to move just to show you what I'm doing. Now you're going to walk your little fingers in toward each other. And just go as far as you can. 
So it depends on the openness of your shoulder and it doesn't matter how close your fingers come. You're just going to what feels right for your body. Let your chest sink in. Now lift your chin and look over your shoulder. Open your eyes wide. Maybe you can see your hands. Try to keep your chin parallel to the ground. Stretch your eyes open wide, looking behind you. Keep your face soft. Go back into your breath. Bring your head back to center. Take a breath in and look over the opposite shoulder. Again, keep your eyes really wide open. Try to see if you can see your hand. Bring your head back to center. One more time, look over the left shoulder. Concentrate on your exhale. So maybe you counting your exhale. Try now counting the length of your exhale. Your head to center and one more time over the right shoulder or whichever shoulder you didn't look over. Eyes are wide open. Bring your head back to center and now draw your abdomen in to bring your body back up. So we're gonna let the belly do the work to bring your body up. So it's gonna feel really strange in your elbows. So this is a tendon stretch where we're opening up those arteries in the elbows. So this joint work is good to get rid of any kind of arthritis or joint issues, but it can be painful, so just do what you can. Now take your left leg Fold it in. You can do your right. We're going to do both sides. We're working on those hips. And we're going to start with releasing the muscles around the hips. So per request, starting with the hips, bring your arms out, palms to the sky. Lace your fingers and push the heel of the hands up into the clouds. Now turn your chest toward your leg and look up at your hand and push up like you're holding up a cloud and you're gonna bring it out over top of your body. So keep pushing through the heel of the hands and gaze out toward your fingers. Your teeth parted, come out as far as you can, release your arms. Your chin lifted and your eyes closed. Imagine an opening through the base of your heel or out through the bottom of the hip. Every time the breath leaves your body, let your body sink a little deeper. When you come out as far as it's comfortable for you, take one more long exhale and let your body just go limp, let everything go. Draw in your abdomen, tuck your tailbone under, press your spine back. Roll slowly up through each vertebrae. Feel free to keep your eyes closed when your head comes up over your shoulder. Take a moment to notice what you're feeling. Let's go to the other side. So whatever leg you had out, fold it in. Extend the other leg, bringing your arms out, 
Turn your palms up, lace your fingers, push up into the sky. Turn your chest towards your leg. Press out, fold out over the top of the leg. Keep your chin lifted. Release your arms. Soften your body. With each breath, let your body sink a little deeper. Now let your body go limp. As you let your body empty a little deeper, feel your body letting go. Remember our goal is to let go and not hold on. Your eyes closed, draw in your abdomen, tuck your tailbone under, push your spine back as you curl up through your body, one vertebrae at a time. Now bend the knee. And as we've done before, we're gonna do this little hip opener. So your feet are gonna be a little wider than your hips and your hands are gonna be facing your hips. So fingers are facing inward. With your feet a little wider, lower your knees. And you wanna have four fingers distance, that's an average between the curve of your foot and the curve of your knee. And that's just a little marker, so your knees don't bang into each other. Lift your legs up. Your feet are gonna stay right where they're at, so that as you move from side to side, you're gonna be in the right position. So it's going to be up to you if you do the first move. This is optional to lift the hips up. If you're able, lift the hips up and raise your heart a little higher. Take a breath in and smile. Smile into the sky. It's part of the posture. Lower the hips on your exhale as you empty your knees to one side and roll the hip over. Bring your leg back to center, inhale, lift up. Put a smile on your face. Breathe in joy into your heart. Lower the hip on your exhale. Empty your knees to the other side, roll the hip over. Come back to center, inhale, lift the hips or leave them on the ground and just squeeze your shoulder blades in. Smile to the sky. Lower down, empty the knees, exhale. If you're in a chair, you could be on the front of the chair. Hips can be on the chair and you're just moving your knees from side to side. Inhale, lift up. Lower down. Release the knees, curl the hip over on the exhale. One more time, so close your eyes if you haven't yet. Feel your heart opening up with a big smile. Take a breath in, lower the hips, empty the knees and twist. Turning to center, last time, inhale, squeeze the shoulders, open the heart, big smile, lower down. And roll to the other side on the exhale. Bring your legs back up. Bring one foot in. So we're gonna slide one foot in toward your glute and try crossing the other leg over. Remember, there's no wrong. You're going to what works for your body today. So if you're able to bring the heel back, if your leg is up, it just means you're way more athletic than I am. So congratulations. If your muscles are tight, that's why you're here. Wherever you are in the pose, you're still gonna benefit. We're gonna start by keeping the body tall. Remember, this is where all the major organs are. There's no prize if your head touches your knee. So we're not worrying about that. 
You want to concentrate instead on letting the oxygen get in as much as you can. So lift the fingertips, or the body with the fingertips. And if you want, try moving your fingertips in. So as you squeeze in your shoulders in the back, you're gonna feel the front of your body open. Keeping the front of the body open also helps to open the heart. And walk your fingertips toward your tailbone as much as you can. Lift the ribs up, look out toward the middle of your room. As soon as you start feeling it in your hip, close your eyes. Put your mind inside your muscles and imagine there's an opening through the base of your hip. Visualize the tension flowing out of your body with your exhale. Softly release your arms and shoulders when you come out as much as is comfortable for you. Each time your breath leaves your body, let your body sink a little deeper. Come out as far as you can, take a long breath and soften everything. Practice going limp and letting go. Draw in your abdomen, tuck your tailbone under. Press your spine back and roll up through your body. Lift the leg. Switch sides. So opposite foot's going to come in toward the hip. Cross the other leg over. Fingertips behind you. Again, try lengthening the spine. Walk your arms in. Just squeeze the shoulder blades, opening your heart. Close your eyes, picture that open heart. Find that opening in the base of the hip. Keep a smile or a grin on your face and compassion deep into your body. That's really the secret. Loving kind of spots into that body that you've been given. Invite the earth to absorb all that you're letting go of right now. As you feel your body releasing with your breath, start softening your shoulders and fingertips. Again, let go completely. Just release your body, let it fall heavy over your leg as much as it wants to today. your eyes closed, tuck your chin in and roll up through your spine one vertebrae at a time. And unwind your legs. So we're just going to take that top leg and slide it over to the side. Again, if this isn't comfortable, you're going to find a position that works for your body. Unfortunately, not being in the room with everyone just be kind and do what you need to to help yourself. This is optional. You can sit any way you want. <laughs> this is a traditional way. The leg that's forward is the arm that we're going to use. And we're going to work a little bit of those shoulder blades. because This is also benefiting the lymph nodes. Um, we want to keep open the arms. We're just going to switch back and forth. So just a little forward. I want you to take your arm. We're going to keep a soft bend and my palm is facing out. The curl in the bend of the arm, I want you to imagine that it's curling around a tree. And now roll your shoulder forward. Lift it up and forward, nice. Push through the heel of your hand, like you're pushing on a door. Spread your fingers wide. Now push through the heel of the hand and slide it toward the opposite shoulder. 
across your body. So it stays in line. Try not to let it fall. Push. Now lift your chin and look over the shoulder of the arm that you just moved across your body. Open your mouth with a big smile so you're not clenching your teeth. Eyes are wide open, look over your shoulder, stretch to the fingers, push to the heel of that hand. Notice where you're feeling it in your shoulder and across the top of the shoulder. Gently ease off. Take a moment to notice how that shoulder feels. It feels a little heavy or empty or like it's ready to fall off. That's good. We've got rid of some tension there. So that's what these are for. We're working deep into the tendons. Again, optional to switch your legs or you're just staying in a way that works for your body today. Bring your arm forward. Roll that shoulder. Remember to hug half the tree. So you have a bend in your arm. Push through the heel of the hand, spread the fingers out. Pressing across the body like you're sliding a heavy metal door. Now lift your chin, look over the shoulder, eyes wide open. Check in with your sitting bones, make sure both sitting bones are still on the ground. Stretch the fingers, push through the heel of the hand. The smile on your face. Close your eyes as you like and notice how this side feels different from the other. Ease off. Should they come back? Now lift your knee up, bring your hands to the bottom of your feet and let's do the stretch for the back. Walk your feet out. Remember if your legs are really tight, bring your arms on the inside, it makes it easier. Do not worry if your legs are not long, but keep your hand cupped over the ball of your foot. So wherever you are, that's, that's where you go today. Stay there. Wherever you are, Lift your ribs, draw in your abdomen, push your spine back and take your right foot and push it out away from your body and bring your left toe back toward your knee. Let your chin move in toward your chest, close your eyes, put your tongue behind your teeth, concentrate on your exhale. If you're able to engage your abdomen while you're pushing your spine back, you're gonna get it delicious opening through the lowest part of your spine. So the lower lumbar is what we're opening up right now. Inhale, lift up and switch. So push the left foot out, pull the right toe back, draw the abdomen in, push back with the spine. Breathe in once more, lift the ribs up, engage the abdomen, push back, press out with the right foot, pull the left toe back, eyes are closed, you're just letting your mind examine what you're experiencing within yourself. Inhale as you lift the ribs, switch one more time. Last one, push out with the left foot, pull the right toe back. Keep your abdomen engaged, press the spine out like you're pushing it out of your body. Continue breathing long and soft.
breathing in, lift the ribs up, draw in the abdomen, push both feet out, press the spine back. Your chin rest in toward your chest. Your eyes are closed, your mind is in your body. The more you engage the abdomen as you press back through the spine, you'll feel this through your hip joints and lower back. Inhale, lift up, pull the toes back, lift your ribs up. Try pulling the toes back toward your knees and check in with your face. And release, bringing your shoulders back over your hips. And again, just take a moment to close your eyes. Recognize how you're sitting getting rid of the compression of the lower part of the back, so it's really healthy for the lowest part of your spine. You're gonna bend your knees. Bring your hands on the top of your shins, just for fun. Don't worry if you have to modify. We're gonna press your hands into the thighs as you lean back. Try to keep your feet on the floor, it's just a little for fun. Roll back through every vertebrae, bring yourself back to the floor. Good. All right. So now that you're on the floor, bring your arms out to the side. Let's start with the figure four again, working a little more in the hips. So bring your right leg over the left. Lift the left knee up. Wrap your arm around your leg and draw your knee in toward your chest. So your hand could be on the top of the shin or under the thigh, whatever works. Find your breath. Feel the body release with the exhale. Soften your forehead. Easing off, place your left foot on the floor. Extend your right leg. Flex your foot. If your knee is bent, it's fine. Your goal right now is to start pressing the knee back. If you flex your foot, that'll help start to open up the back of your leg. So if your leg is really tight, just practice pointing your toe back toward your knee. For everyone, the goal is to keep that knee pressing back. Then use your hands. So we let our body connect with itself. That's why in this style, we don't really use props. We just go with what our body's able to do. Gently guide the leg forward toward your head. So again, close your eyes and let your breath release the body. Your left leg could be bent or you can extend it out, whatever works for you today. When you feel, maybe you feel your body shaking, that's when you know you need to ease off. If you're shaking violently, ease off. Go to your limit and ease off a little bit and then exhale and let your body soften where it wants to go. Bring your leg back up to center. Bend your knee, bring your knee into your chest, draw your knee into your body. You take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Your right arm is gonna come in line with your shoulder. You're gonna guide your knee across your body. So the left knee is gonna roll over on the right side of your body. Stay where you are to transition. So from here, you're gonna go through that shoulder roll. And again, our goal is to work the lymph nodes under the arm and through the rib cage. So we're gonna keep our arm limp. So if your arm is up, just soften it. Imagine your arm is not connected to your body. Let your hand 
drag on the floor. If it doesn't touch the floor, just pretend that it's touching the floor. If it is on the floor, imagine you're laying on a warm beach, or maybe for you, it's the snow, whatever you like. Keep your hand dragging on the floor and gently bring it above your head. So your arm's gonna come up next to your ear. Let the hand make a circle around your body. So we're going very slow as if your fingertips are examining every grain of sand or every snowflake as it moves around your body. When you come back to your body, soften that arm and let the shoulder lift up. So the arm's just gonna drag over the hip. Let your head move in the direction of the arm. Stretch out through your fingertips as you lift your arm around and above your head, slow and soft and even, just like your breath. Whatever you've chosen in your mind's eye, if it's a lawn full of green lush grass, wherever you are, making that circle, dragging it on the earth. See how much your arm can connect and if it doesn't touch the ground, just pretend in your mind's eye it does. See how heavy you can keep that arm as it drags over your body. And when it comes back in line with your shoulder, take a breath and let it go a little more heavy. We're gonna lift the shoulder. So the hand's gonna drag because the shoulder lifts up and moves the arm back over the hip. And we're reversing the direction. Again, the hand drags around the body. Keep the arm as heavy as you can today. And with the eyes closed, notice where you're feeling that stretch under the arm, down through the ribs, through the front of your abdomen or over your hip. Take this little moment to notice how connected every muscle is in your body. If you're able to stretch up when you go over your head, you may even feel this stretch down in your abdomen. You finish your next circle and your arm comes back in line with your shoulder, bring your knee back to your chest. Slowly lower the leg. Take a breath. Close your eyes and notice how your right arm feels different than your left. And now bending your knees, cross your left knee over your right leg, left ankle over the right knee. Breathe in and bring the foot toward your shoulder. So arms are gonna wrap around your right leg under the thigh or on top of the shin. Keep your eyes closed. Visualize any tension draining out of your hip. Try to feel the legs sink in toward your chest. Slowly lower the foot back to the floor. Extend your left leg. Flex the foot, check in with the back of the knee. Notice how this side feels different. Bring your hands above or below the knee. Just pick whatever works for you. The eyes stay closed as you guide your leg forward. So if you practice pulling the toe back toward the knee, our first goal is to open the back of the leg. Find your breath. Fully empty the breath before you begin the next. Just the 
Let the weight of your body sink into the floor. Easing off, bring your leg back up to center. Bend your knee, bring your knee into your chest. Extend your right leg. Place your hand on the outside of your left knee and bring your arm out in line with your left shoulder. Gently roll the knee from over to the right side. Again, recognize how the side feels a little different. Try looking to the left and then let the left arm go limp and heavy. Invite yourself back into that place where you were, laying on the beach or in the grass and the snow. Gently bring your arm above your head. Once you feel your arm touch your ear, turn your head so the arm is just going to continue rolling around the body. Keep the arm and the hand as close as you can to your body and the earth so the shoulder is doing the work. It's much different than if you're lifting your arm, you're kind of cheating when you're letting the arm do the work. We want to keep everything heavy connecting to the earth. If your arm's really tight, then you're just imagining that it's touching the ground. If it feels extra tight in a certain area, or maybe you've had an injury, pause, take a couple of breaths if it feels tight in a certain area, and then go on. Just acknowledging and sending a little extra attention into any area that might be asking for it today. And then encourage your mind to examine how those muscles intersect and connect down through the body. When your arm comes back in line with your shoulder, reverse the direction. So soften the arm, keep the hand dragging on the floor. Shoulders wanna let the arm drag over the body. One more circle. Again, when your arm comes back in line with your shoulder, bring your knee to your chest. Gently lower the leg. With your eyes closed, take a moment to just notice what you're feeling. So there's no wrong. See if your shoulders feel a little different. And while we're letting our shoulders absorb all that yummy blood movement, bend your knees, bring the inside of your feet together as if they're, you know, they're kissing each other and open your knees out to the side. feels really tight, you can lay your hands on your inner thigh. One more exhale. Place your hands underneath your thighs, bring the knees back together. Great. 
Lift your right leg. And work more in the joints. So bring your arm to the side of a 45 degree angle. We're gonna make a big circle. So I'm gonna reposition again, just to make sure you can see what I'm doing. And remember, your job is to do what works for your body instead of trying to mimic what someone else is doing. You're paying attention to your range of motion today. Tomorrow, it'll feel different. Tonight, it'll feel different. Just be in the moment. So if the knee is bent, it helps to keep the back on the floor. You feel comfortable, you can extend the legs, it's up to you. Big circles. If you're feeling any cracking or popping in your hip, it's a tendon that rolls over the bone. If you've had a hip replacement, you're skipping this. Okay, let's go in the other direction. Let's see, just like your arm, how much of a circle are you able to make today? Imagine you're drawing a circle around the galaxy. As your leg comes up to center, slowly lower it down on your exhale. Let everything sink into the earth. Now lift the other leg. Again, your choice. Your right leg could be bent or you can keep it flat on the ground. You're going to experiment with this side. So I encourage you to start with it bent just to see how, how this side feels when you start your circle. And as you move your leg around in a circle, you can experiment with keeping the toe pointed or flexing your heel. Just notice how that makes the movement feel different. Great. Go in the other direction. One more. Lower the leg. Extend both legs. Take a little moment. Feel the warmth in your hips. Now bend your knees once more. And you have an option. You can let your knees just touch each other. Stay here. Enjoy the moment. We're gonna do. Oh, we're gonna do a little bit more for uh, the lower back and abdomen. So this is called the mountain rises from the valley. We have two mountains already, and those are our legs. So these meridians are washing down into the valley of our abdomen. But we have another ab another mountain, which is our abdomen, and we're gonna lift it up. So. When your abdomen lifts up and you feel your breath, you're going to feel a cave underneath your lower back. So there should be a natural space there. Inhaling, feel the belly swell. So it's lifting up into the sky. And as you exhale, we're going to curl your tailbone under to flatten your back. Press your abdomen in toward your spine. And if you're able, we call it an upward draw. You're going to draw your abdomen in and up. And just visualize it. Sustain the breath in your body for a moment. Release. Soften everything. Begin with your mountain rising. So inhale, curl the tailbone back. Feel the abdomen lift to the sky. Hold it for a moment and exhale, flatten the back, curling the tailbone under. Draw your abdomen in and up. Make sure your face is soft. Release. One more. Leave your hands on your abdomen. Feel the mountain rising from the sea. Exhale. The mountain sinks back into the valley. 
Draw the abdomen in and up. Release. One more. Inhale. There's a mountain rising. Tailbone rolls back. Expand your abdomen to the sky. And as you exhale, feel the mountain sink back into the valley. The breath is empty. Draw the abdomen in and up. Release. You can leave your hands on your abdomen. And again, just let your knees knock into each other or extend your legs, your choice. Slide your arms up over your head. Lace your fingers, turn your palms toward the wall behind you and push to the heel of the hands as you point through your toes. Stretch out as far as you can if you're reaching out for eternity. Sip in some more breath. And as you exhale, empty your arms back to the earth, soften everything. And gently lift your hands up toward your head. Turn your palms toward your face and lay your palms over your face. You're going to lift your elbows up and let your hands cover your face. Notice the blue black color that comes with your hands over your face. This is the same color as the deepest midnight, and it's a color that rejuvenates the muscles in the eyes. So for everyone using Zoom a lot, this is a restorative posture for the eyes. Gently let the weight of your hands slide to the outside edge of your face and let your fingertips come underneath your jaw to your chin. Now lightly touch your fingertips up the middle of your face, all the way to the hairline, up into the middle of your head. Cup your hands over your ears, slide them down your neck and under your chin. As your fingertips come back to the point of your chin, Open your palms up over your face one last time. Brush over your ears, down the side of the neck. Let your palms face your chest and slide your palms down over your heart, over the lungs. Continue down the rib cage with the spleen on the left side and then around the right. Moving over your intestines, visualizing your ovaries, your gonads, your prostate, whatever you're feeling today, whatever your sex is, come down over your thighs and let your arms rest on the floor. Breathe in long and slow. Feel your body swelling up. And picture that pure oxygen, nurturing, cleansing, and healing everything in your body. As you release your breath, let your body sink back into the earth. Breathe in once more, long and slow, even and soft. Let the 
breath flow from your feet up through your legs. Imagine it moving through every vertebrae in your spine, curling through your organs and neck and shoulders and up around your mind. Begin to release your breath, letting it sink a little deeper into the earth. Know that what you're letting go of is anything you didn't need. With your eyes closed, bend your knees, bring them both back into your chest. Wrap your arms around your legs, giving yourself a big hug. The smile on your face if you've lost it. Embrace this moment knowing that you've honored that beautiful body that you've been given. Gently rock back and forth. Remembering that what you've done may not show on the outside, but you've nurtured the body that you've been given to live in. Keeping that smile gently roll over onto your side. Plant your palm near your heart and press down through the palm. Bring yourself back to a seated position your eyes close as you bring your hands back to your heart. Tuck your chin down to your chest. Lengthen your ribs away from your hips and with your mind's eye looking into your heart and down through your body. Take this moment to reflect on what you're feeling what you're thinking, what you're experiencing. Know that this place that's within you is a place that no one else can enter. It's a place that you can return to whenever you give yourself permission. And the journey inward is always through the breath. So as you move through today, through your week, Remember to exhale and let go of any thought that you attach to. Put the smile back on your face. Just keep moving forward. Because every time you let go with your breath, you're opening space for new experiences. And may that light and love that's shining through, through the smile on your face and moving into your body we fill our body first so we can shine out and share that love with others. Remember, even if you're wearing your mask, people will see your smile through your eyes. May that beauty within you brighten your week. Thank you so much for being with me today. I hope to see you next week or Monday. It's not a holiday, so if I can see you Monday, that would be great too. Thanks for being here.